I think the most pivotal moment in which I had to deal with uncertainty came shortly after I decided to start making a few extra bucks by selling latex dresses I had designed on eBay. I was still very new to the whole business of clothing design and had only one style of dress that was modeled on my girlfriend's very thin and petite body type. Talk about your minimum viable product. Anyway, I had sold a couple of these dresses and thought things were going well when my third customer ever turned out to be a very well-known and popular latex supermodel. This woman was gorgeous and curvy and had enormous breasts. She was a bombshell in many ways, and I had no idea how to make a dress that would fit her. I was paralyzed by this situation. On one hand, I really wanted her business, but on the other hand, I was petrified of screwing up with such a high-profile client and potentially ruining my reputation forever. So my way of getting past this uncertainty was to start asking questions. What do I need to learn to make this work? Who can I talk to about that? I started talking to friends of mine who had gone to fashion school and ended up paying one of them to teach me a little bit about pattern drafting. Armed with these newfound skills, I set to work making a custom dress for my superstar client. And you know what? It didn't work. The dress fit poorly and she sent it back. So I fixed it. And it still didn't fit. She sent it back again, and I fixed it some more. And I never heard back from her again. Now, I could have let this setback get me down, and for a while I did. But I kept at it. I learned as much as I could about pattern drafting. I bought books, I asked more questions, I practiced almost every day, and I discovered that not only did I love learning this new skill, I was damn good at it. Pattern drafting is very similar to architecture, and it speaks very well to my preferred mode of creative production. Now, six years later, this is my full-time business, and I developed a reputation for excellent craftsmanship and finely tailored clothing of all types. I have clients all over the world, and yes, a few latex supermodels come to us for clothing. And you know what? The uncertainty continues. And that's why this book is so important. I'm about halfway through it, and already I feel like I have more of the tools that I need to deal with the fear, uncertainty, and exposure that is so much a part of everyday life as a creative entrepreneur. I still struggle sometimes to make ends meet, and the road ahead is often unclear but I can't see myself doing anything else, and I've never been happier. I owe a small part of that to you, Jonathan, so I'll make you a promise. If you keep writing, I'll keep designing. Thank you so, so much.